So I was one of those censored bodies where I had uh, information uh, taken from me as I slept and uh, uh, as I uh, tried to, in Holland, and I don't speak uh, Dutch and read it, I uh, tried to figure out uh, how to work a smart house. And so I had three days, I was the first person to ever be in uh, the smart house in Eindhoven. And they just wanted to find out what the, the stress points were of people. Now, normally it would be senior citizens, and I'm not quite there yet, close but no cigar. But the, the idea was, uh, you know, what was life like in this smart house where sensors were everywhere and they went to the bathroom, they knew how many times I went to the bathroom or when I woke up at night and all that kind of stuff. And I asked the question, well, what do you do with all this data? And it was Phillips that uh, had this house. And uh, one of the people said, you know, here's an opportunity for public-private partnership to actually bring all of the data in. The building was on a public property. Uh, they use it to demonstrate to people uh, the value and, and purpose of certain products and services. But at the same time, if the private sector is gathering all this information, and the public can use this information, and you ask the right questions, well, this is where the integration of P PP3, or public-private partnerships, comes in as a very useful activity in a, in a community. So uh, big and open data is useful if asked the right questions in the right vein, but uh, the private sector have to participate. And you, know, you really need to get all of that information out there if, if you're going to uh, uh, find benefit from it. I'm probably not.